Hey guys, so this is going to be part 27, I believe, of my uh, 4K Blu-ray collection. Um, so let's dive right on into the top shelf here. So we have, uh, I already talked about the Televised Terror Volume 1 set. And then I have all three uh, Homegrown Horror sets here. Fatal Exam, Beyond Dreams Door, Winter Beast, Hanging Heart, Moonstalker, Dead Girls, Haunted Ween, Deadly Love, and Revenge. Uh, out of these nine movies, I've seen three, four, sorry. Uh, I've seen Beyond Dreams Door, Winter Beast, Moonstalker, and Haunted Ween. I enjoyed all of those, so I really need to dive into the rest of them. Uh, this one here is the I Spit on Your Grave. Um, box set from Ronin Flicks. Um, you have the original, the quote-unquote sequel, um, and then the uh, documentary. So I haven't dove into this. I've seen the first one many times. The other two I have not seen, so definitely need to get on that. Uh, we have the JFK set here. I think it's a four disc set. Got that at um, Best Buy toward the end of their physical media run. Uh, I have this Sequest uh, DSV complete series from Mill Creek featuring the late Jonathan Brandis. And then I have the original uh, Hellraiser 3 uh, Scarlet Box box set from Arrow and then the uh, Phantasm collection from Logo USA which is it goes for quite a bit of money these days I do want to I like this set don't get me wrong but I can probably just slim it down and get a, a different version and then just sell that for a nice chunk of change but we'll see I don't know, I'm still debating it all right, let's get into the, the regular uh, releases here. So we have Fatal Attraction. I've seen the movie. I just haven't watched the 4K. The, uh, sorry, it's not 4K. It's a Blu-ray. Uh, from Paramount Presents. Uh, Father of the Bride 1 and 2. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I might upgrade to the 4K eventually. We have The Feast, which I have not watched. Uh, Fight Club. I love, I like Fight Club. I haven't particularly watched this version, but I've seen the movie quite a few times. Uh, the Filthy and McNasty Quadrilogy. Uh, I haven't heard the best reviews on these movies, but it was cheap and it was a complete set, so I'd jump on it. The First Power, I enjoyed this film. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, Tracy Griffith, and I forget who the, who's the, oh yeah, uh, Jeff Kober is the Pentagram Killer. I, I enjoyed that film. Flashback, I have not watched this yet. I am a fan of Dylan O'Brien and um, Makeup Monroe, so... Definitely got to jump on that. Same thing with the Florida Project. I've heard nothing but good reviews on this one. Uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights. This is the um, French-Canadian release that uh, Dollar Tree had years back. I've seen the movie. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, the Fourth War, I got this at a second in Charles. Anything at time I see a Kino for under 10 bucks, I generally pick it up. Generally, not all the time, but... Uh, Foxes with Scott Bayo and Jodie Foster, Randy Quaid. Uh, this is a bootleg of Freddy's Nightmares. Uh, again, I wish the artwork was a lot better than what they have here. But I'm just happy to own it on physical some way uh the mighty out of print free willy blu-ray i got that at a thrift store for two bucks yeah i know crazy uh next friday i love the friday movies uh futurama one of the men one of the few uh, feature length movies they did in the in like 2008 
the Gallant Hours, some James Cagney, pretty cool. Uh, Gas Pump Girls, I really enjoyed this film. Um, I watched it on an old DVD and I went upgraded to the Blu-ray from Scorpion releasing. Highly recommend this, if you guys. It's not. It's. I want to say it's. It's a. It's more of a drama, than it is a comedy. But it's kind of like a mix of both. But yeah, it's got Sandy Johnson in here. And it's got some kind of risque type situations. But I enjoyed this movie from 1979. Uh, another copy of The Gate. This is the Steelbook version. I have the regular version as well. I love that movie, though. We have Ghost. This is the original Blu-ray. I'm on the fence of upgrading that one, but we'll see. I enjoy that movie, but like I said, I don't know if I need to upgrade that one. Uh, we got Ghost in the Shell. 25th Anniversary Edition. We have the 4K of Ghoulies. I have it on a double feature with part two. And I also have a triple feature uh, German Blu-ray set, I believe. I know, I like, I, like that, I like that series a lot more than some people do. Uh, the Girl Most Likely to Kino release. Uh, really over the top comedy. God bless America. Uh, Bobcat Goth Bobcat Goldthwait directed and wrote this. Uh, Joel Murray and Tara Lynn Barr. They make a good uh, pair there. Uh, Godfather 1 and 2. I, I, got, I just probably saw an update. I did get part three as well on Steelbook. Um, well, I'll add it to this later on down the line. Uh, Grave Robbers are also known as um, Ladrones de Tumas. Uh, I enjoy that film quite a bit. I enjoy I like everything that um, that director's done. Uh, we got Grave Secrets from Vinegar Syndrome. This is a VSA. Um, I have not watched this one yet, but I heard it's good. Uh, the Great Escape with Steve McQueen. Classic film. Uh, Greenland. I still haven't got around to this one. I heard it's okay. Uh, mediocre. Good. Some. I haven't heard anything bad about it. Uh, Gun Crazy with Drew Barrymore. Uh, horror Pack number two called Gut. Never seen this. Uh, but yeah, it's signed by, I believe it's a director, I think. Uh... Halloween, uh, the first five Halloweens on 4K. The first three are, had the hard boxes, and then I got these two late, so they're just the slipcover versions. And then I have Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. I do have the other ones, just the box sets. Uh, they're up on top here, but on the other side, so. Uh, I don't particularly care for these two movies, but I like the artwork a lot more than the movies themselves. Part one's okay, part two, hard pass. If I had to choose. All right. We've got the Harold and Kumar movies with Beer Fest. Uh, Havoc, have not dove into this one yet. I used to have the DVD. Uh, we got the 4K of Heat. Have held um, hilarious. I heard this was pretty funny, but again, uh, looks like it's some sort of um, anthology. Uh, the original Hellboy, the best one in my opinion. Uh, Hellgate. This movie's weird, 
but I enjoyed it. Uh, Hellraiser 4. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think this is 4, 5, 6, and 7. I think it's 4, 6, 7, 8. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's been a while since I've seen all of them. But I have, I do own all of them, just on different formats. So, yeah. uh, the Heroic Trio and the, was it the second one? I've seen the first one, I enjoyed that one. The other one I have not seen. I might just get the 4K of that from uh, Criterion. Uh, hey, Stop Stabbing Me. This is an Inner Vision Severin release. This is from the um, filmmakers that made the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. This is way before then, that was for 2000. Uh, Highway to Hell, I love this movie. It's funny, stupid, fun. Uh, it's got Christy Swanson in here. It's got... Um, a lot of different, uh, the, all the Stillers are in here. We got Jerry Stiller, Ann Miara, Ben Stiller's in here, Amy Stiller's in here, Lita Ford, Gilbert Gottfried's in here. It's from the director of Drop Dead Fred, and it also has um, CJ Graham in here too. So it's pretty, it's pretty stacked. Horror comedy, if you will. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, the original, plus part two. On Blu-ray, the limited edition sets from Arrow. Uh, I like part one more than part two, but I actually prefer the uh, remake of part one over any of them, to be honest. Just because it's, I just think it's more fun. Uh, Hollywood Land, I remember watching this in the theater. Uh, I enjoyed that one as well. Uh, Hoodwinked. This one's a lot better than the sequel, in, from my opinion. So, it's a good kid movie. Uh, horror Noir, History of Black Horror. I have yet to watch this. Uh, double feature of Hot Spot and Killing Me Softly. I got this for a dollar at an Amazon return place. I believe this is out of print. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, An Hour to Kill. This is from what movie one's uh, one of his one of his friends, Aaron Carter. Uh, he's actually in here with Gabriel, so it's a it's a fun movie. Um, it's an, like kind of like an anthology type of deal. I enjoyed that one. Uh, House, also known as. Um, Haosu, uh, Japanese film from 1977, really weird, bizarre, creepy, kooky, I enjoyed that, uh, let's do one more, and then we'll end the video here, House of Forbidden Secrets, uh, Todd Sheets, I like him as a director, I'm just... Some of his stuff's not as, as good as the other ones, though, but I, I enjoy most of it. Uh, House of Tomorrow, really good cast. Definitely wanted to give that a watch. Uh, a Home of Our Own. I heard this is a really good drama from 93 with Kathy Bates. Uh, a House with the Clock in Its Walls, 4K. I've seen most of the movie on TV, so I gotta finish it. Um, How Long Will I Love You for Logo USA. Apparently it's a romantic comedy. Got that really cheap. Uh, how to Talk to Girls at Parties with um, Al Fanning and Nicole Kidman. 
Uh, yeah, I never seen that one. Uh, I got the How to Train Your Dragon three movie set here. The Hunt, I enjoyed that one for sure. It's a fun movie. Uh, very, it's very divisive. I'm not gonna get into it, but I liked it. Hunters, I have not checked this one out. Uh, I Am Legend, classic film. Uh, it's it's pretty much the same movie as The Last Man on Earth, just a little slightly different. Uh, Identity, it's another good movie. Uh, I Drink Your Blood. I think it has, a, doesn't have another movie on here too. Uh, yeah, I Eat Your Skin and Blue Sextet. Uh, Imaginary, I haven't even tried to get into that movie yet. I've heard mostly negative stuff on it. Inception. We have The Incredible Mr. Limpet with Don Knotts. I am a fan. Incredibles 2. I've seen the first one. I never got around to watching the second one. In Cold Blood with Scott Wilson. Black and white film from 1967. Uh, in Dreams, I enjoyed this one too. Robert Downey Jr. plays a serial killer in this movie, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Uh, we have Infestation. This is a fun one. Horror comedy uh, with uh, Ray Wise. I did enjoy Christopher Marquette and Brooke Nevin in this film as well. They're really great actors. Uh, we have Inglorious Bastards, Steel Book. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Tarantino films. And then lastly, we'll end the video here with The Initiation of Sarah. Some people thought this movie was quite boring. I thought it was good for what it was so all right guys that's it for part number 27 uh if you've seen any titles that you liked and recommend me check out immediately leave those comments down below thanks for watching bye